Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today we're doing an in-depth analysis on the Banshee breakout for Mega Constructs Halo Infinite 2020 line. And we're going to be answering the question, should you buy this set in as much detail as possible? And I'm going to say pretty much straight away, yes. But there are different things we need to analyze and one of the main things we're going to look at is the alternate build for this set. Which if you saw my review for the Skiff Intercept, I loved that alternate build. This one, I don't think it's as strong, but then again they are working with a lot less pieces. So, we'll start today with the figures. The figures are the main takeaway from a set, they're the main reason that I buy a set. I bought this one because the figures are awesome. Look at these, fantastic. We're gonna go for the strongest one first, the Spartan Recon. I just love Recon so much. It is the definition of Halo 3 for me, which was my favorite Halo game, and it, they have had strong iterations of Recon ever since. There have been some armors in Halo that have gotten worse over time, for example, the Spartan Gungnir, but the Spartan Recon, I think, has gone from strength to strength, but Halo Reach, I think it might stand out as most people's favorites. There are so many parts of this that feel like it's Halo Reach, especially this sort of camo netting over its back. The customization feels very Halo Reach. The whole thing is awesome. One of the biggest things I am impressed with with Mega Constructs is when they make the armor two separate colors on both the arms and the legs. It really shows that they are putting a lot of effort in, like we've had some problems with Mega Constructs in the past with just whitewash figures with no real details, and it really shows off Mega Constructs customization options with the removable armor when you have a different color for the actual removable armor than a different color for the base coat and for the ends of the limbs. It's really cool, and it shows off here. I mean, the color of this backpack isn't even the same color as the legs and the arms. There are loads of different color applications here, and the blacks are also used to their advantage to make the armor pop out in certain places, and similar to the Skiff Intercept figure, we've got a nice bronze visor, which is really nice. A really nice figure with so many details, and I'm a huge fan of this backpack as well. We did have another Spartan Recon in Halo Heroes Series 12, and I wasn't the greatest fan of this, mainly because they put dry brushing only on the extension of the limbs, not the actual armor, so it looked a little strange. And this one just has plain armor. I think it works so well with this extra detailing here. It really feels like he's on some kind of you know, outland skirmish mission. He's got something to do. Well, he's got one thing to do, and that's to take out the Banshee. He also comes with this basic rifle thing that we've seen to sort of shoot electricity or something when it's not very clear, but we've got that all the same. Very nice indeed. Then we're gonna go on to this Elite Ultra. Now in no way is this a bad figure. It's got a cool focus rifle. I don't know if that confirms that it's in Halo Infinite or just Halo Reach inspired, but it's got a cool focus rifle and it has some really cool features like these eyes pop out with this light blue color, but the armor, I mean, it's very easy to just compare it to the Halo Heroes. Because Halo Heroes, and it is difficult because you shouldn't compare basic set figures with Halo Heroes, because Halo Heroes, they are made to have this high level of detail on them. Because, like, for the price of, like, four Halo Heroes, you can buy this whole set. But the armor detailing on this one, this etching work that runs all the way across its armor, is absolutely fantastic. Obviously, we're lacking all of that with this figure. And as I mentioned in my previous 2021 Mega Constructs leak, they've made a black Elite Ultra to go in the blind bag. So we've got a lot of Elite Ultras of almost the same color tone. But this cream one is really nice. I don't have many negatives about it as a base figure. And I certainly like that they've put a different skin color for the Elite's neck to the rest of the body. That makes it feel like this is armor, like a base suit of armor, and this is just his exposed neck. So I really do like this Elite. It's a little difficult when comparing it to Halo Heroes, but still a very nice figure. So two very nice figures, and they come on nice green base plates that match the base plate of the Banshee. 
We're going to talk about this Banshee in as much detail as possible, and then we're going to move on to the alternate build. But before we move on to the Banshee, we've got my new segment of every video, which is called The Craig Show. It's when we, sw <laughs> it's when we swap out the heads of the figures in the review for Craig heads, and we review what these would be like as Craigy boys. There we go. Look at them. They look, they look great. They look great. The head matches the armor perfectly, Craig. You've been working out, bud. You got, you got some long legs now. Jeez, I, I don't think you can get longer legs from working out. Anyway, they look pretty good. Uh, this is, this is the Craig review, folks. I'm gonna do that more and more into the future. It's gonna get pretty wacky when I do Halo Heroes. Okay, let's move on to this Banshee. A lot of really cool features. One thing that I'm saying from the start, and I think I'm gonna start saying this more often, why do Mega Constructs have such short display stands? Like, this thing is barely off the ground. I would much rather this Banshee had a display stand that shot into the sky, you know? Like, it should be hovering way above the battlefield. But that's a small complaint. It is still a nice display and it like fits really nicely into this green design on the base. But then we've got the Banshee itself. The build for this really did surprise me. I did a stop motion snap build, which you should definitely check out. But the build, it kind of surprised me. First of all, the interior of this feels very similar in design to the banished Banshee that we've already got before in Halo Wars 2. But the, one of the things that sort of stood out for me as quite strange is these wings. They seem to be missing the end to them. They're sort of like, they're two pieces that are fixed together with one transparent brick. And they feel a little unfinished. Like a little, like something more should be there, or it should be chunked out in some way. Maybe even some extra bricks on top of here. But the wings flap, which is uh, actually kind of fun. I'm sure that's cool for stop motion designers. And then we've got these yellow firing missiles. We actually get six of them, which is pretty crazy but they run into the front, and yes, the Banshee does fire. And I'm also actually a big fan of this eyepiece. I think it looks really nice. This pops off just very easily. Looks really sleek. And the, I mean, the whole thing is very streamlined. One of the most enjoyable parts of the build was this. This feels really, really streamlined. Has some cool little dials here. It felt really good making that. And then this also fits in pretty soundly together. It snaps in like that and then fits together with it. Oh, jeez. And it also fits really nicely back together again and then holds loads of extra missiles. I guess kids have been reporting losing these things. But once again, I don't mind the fact that they include missiles because it looks like it's in the process of firing. I don't mind that at all. And off to the back, it also runs out really smoothly. It's actually fixed together with this rod, which is a really nice feature. It makes it feel very robust and yeah, other than that, I mean, it's it's quite a simple design. It's not too many pieces. And it was a real joy to build. It has a very cool color scheme, a nice printed interior here where the cockpit is. Craig the Elite does fit in here quite nicely. It does feel ergonomical, and it does feel like that classic Banshee design where the Elite is literally just lying down inside. I mean, his arms are definitely dislocated there, but you can see him poking out. People have also commented about this negative space here. I can see complaints about that. But this Banshee, I mean, it does feel very Banished-esque. One of the things I like about the Banished is they cobble everything together. The skiff feels like it was just knocked together with spare pieces. The Brutes only come with one shoulder and one leg piece on that skiff because, it, you know, they're, they're scavengers. So this kind of feels like a scavenger design. The color scheme is really nice. I still think the Banshee design was perfected years ago, so Mega Constructs are just sort of innovating and trying new things, which I do respect. And it is quite different from the Banished Banshee that we got a few years ago. So it is, in most regards, a very good design. And these studs hold in the wings from flapping too far down, which is also nice. This Banshee is a pretty solid vehicle with two pretty solid looking Craigs. <laughs> So, that is the Banshee to begin with, but we are not done with this review at all. We need to build this two-in-one feature, this land speeder, and that's what I'm gonna do right now in stop-motion style. Let's go. there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Halo Mega Constructs Banshee Breakout Alternate Build. 
And, you know, it, <laughs> it's okay. I had less expectations going into it. It's not too bad. Once again, this is super streamlined, really smooth. And then, yeah, I mean, little Craigie boys operating the, the main controls. It feels like something that could exist in the Halo universe. It is very barren at the back, but I mean, a lot of things did surprise me. These grates are really nice that run through it. The control panel is worked really well into the design. These buttons on the back look great. You know, it, it is actually quite good. I will actually say that it's quite good, which did surprise me because I thought it, it looked pretty terrible. And in general, really, we were asking ourselves at the beginning of this video, should you buy the Banshee Breakout? He came with the control pieces. Look at that. Should you buy the Banshee Breakout? My answer is yes. And to be honest, after watching this review, I would buy this set just for the recon. It's one of the nicest figures that I think Mega Constructs has in their new lineup. This arm still looks dislocated. It is actually one of the nicest armors that they have and one of the nicest figures that they have in the new lineup. So I would buy the set just for the recon and the Elite Ultra is also awesome as well. While the alt build is sort of just what pieces Mega Constructs had left over, like it's the best they could do. The actual Banshee itself is a fantastic build, one that I would definitely recommend getting. It could do with a taller display stand and maybe the wings leave a little more to be desired, but in general, it is a fantastic set. Like this Banshee will color coordinate perfectly with the Skiff, with the Mac Cannon, and with the brand new, newly announced Ghost. It'll all sort of seamlessly work together. This was another video with the domain. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Head on over to our new Facebook page, the Mega Constructs Domain. We've got a giveaway going on there that finishes on Monday, so get over there right now. As always, you have a great day. With whatever strange things are being thrown your way right now, the domain is here to keep you occupied, keep you busy with glorious Halo content. Look at this. What, just beautiful figures, just beautiful figures. This Elite is super washed out by the light in this room, but super nice figures. A kind of strange alternate build, but a very nice Banshee altogether. And the Spartan Recon is signing off.